2013 is really when gaming and YouTube started becoming a little bit more, you know, yeah. taken a little bit more seriously. There still weren't a lot yeah. of people doing it. You had PewDiePie, you know, you had KSI, obviously. He paved yeah, the way for yeah. everyone in the FIFA community. And, yeah. um, it, but it started when, hitting the mainstream around that time. Like, people started becoming more, 100%. like, knowledgeable about the term of gamer, like what yeah. the gamer actually does. Yeah, I mean, like, the industry was non-existent. There was gaming, and, like, you had a couple pros during the two, the early 2000s, but it was around 2010-ish, a couple of years after that, where the content creation actually became a viable uh, job as opposed to just being a pro at the game. You didn't have to be incredible at the game. You just had to have a camera, uh, a couple, you know, a hop hog, which is what we called it back. You had, had to have these, you know, this device that you hooked up to your console or whatever. It was really difficult. It wasn't very accessible. Um, and then flashback to like 2000, uh, flash forward to 2013, 2014, I saw a couple of guys doing it. I was in a financial services job that I did during the day that I didn't really love. And so I'd come home at night and then I would stream playing FIFA. Don't ask me how mm -hmm. I figured out how to set everything up, but it, it worked out. And so I'd work from nine to five, I'd come home, have dinner, and then I'd stream from like nine to three in the morning. And I did that on a loop for about a year, year and a half. And, you know, I'd have a few people in the chat. You know, close knit community, few people in the chat, but nowhere close to being able to do it as, as a profession. And then, um, yeah, 2014 rolled around, and that was a really popular FIFA. And I got kind of lucky meeting the right people. One of the one of the bigger guys in the community, and I always got to shout him out, Nepenthes. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the is one of the biggest UK YouTubers. Period. He came in the chat and he was like, "Hey, I like what you're doing. You know, come on our Skype call. You know, Skype was big at the time." Um, yeah. And uh, he was like, hey, come on the call. Let's, you know, let's like network. And, you know, there's some other guys here. Let's all play together. And that kind of just one thing led to another. And it snowballed. And over the years, it just kind of ended up working out between, uh, between mm -hmm. YouTube and Twitch. And then I left that job full. I left that job in 2015 to pursue this full time. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember that day like it was yesterday because I'm, I'm – I don't know. I was, I was kind of a beta in that situation. I didn't, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to let my, you know, I didn't want to let my boss down, but it just got to the point where I was like, listen, I gotta, I gotta go full steam ahead on this, on this YouTube thing. And he understood. And he was like, all right, you gotta go. Uh -huh. <laughs>